Software Spring Presence How to sum investment amount by week, in Google Sheets Hi folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which gives the steps for a method, to sum the investments, in a mutual fund, by week. Here's the objective of this tutorial. To sum investment amount by week. Say, an investor makes these investments, in a mutual fund, on these days. Let's further say that, the investor wants to sum the investments by week. A method to sum investments by week. Use if, sum, and filter functions. Use if, to find the last week of investment. Nest filter inside sum, to get the total investment by week. Moving forward, let's look at the if function formula. The sum function formula is. Here's the filter function formula. Lastly, here is the sum filter function, comba formula. For more info on if, sum, and filter functions, please refer to their separate tutorials, whose links are given in the description. Now, we are all set to sum investments, by week, using the sum filter functions comba formula. First, we need to get the first date of investment. Type the equal to symbol, click this cell, and press enter. Cancel autofill, as it does not apply in this case. Here, we need to add 7, to the state, and repeat this step, till the last week of investment. How do we find the last week of investment? A method is to use the if function. Type the equal to symbol, I, F, and select F. The logical expression will be, this date plus 7, less than or equal to, last date of investment. Click this cell, and type plus 7. Type the less than symbol, and equal to symbol. Click this cell. Type comma. For value if true, type C3 plus 7, because we want the starting date of next week. Type comma. For value if false, type, for example, two dashes, between double quotes. Press enter. Before we copy the formula, we have to make the address of this cell absolute so its address does not change. Click this cell. To make the address absolute, click before letter A, press F4, and press Enter. Copy the formula to the cells below, till the function returns two dashes. Alright. We are all set to type the sum filter functions comba formula. First, type the equal to symbol, S, U, and select sum. For value 1, let's nest the filter function. Type FAL, and select filter. For range, select this area. Type comma. For condition 1, let's specify that the dates in this range, should be greater than or equal to, this date. Type comma. For condition 2, let's specify that the dates in this range, should be less than this date plus 7. Type two closing parenthesis, one each for filter and sum functions, and press enter. There you go. This is the total investment made in the first week.
Note that in the first week, investment was made only on these two days, resulting in this total investment. Click this cell. Before we copy the formula down these cells, we have to make these ranges absolute, because we do not want these to change. Click here, and press F4, and repeat the steps for the other two ranges. Copy the formula down these cells. Ok, these are the total investments made in these weeks. Quick review. A method to sum data of investments, revenues, expenses, etc., by week, is using if, sum, and filter functions. Use if function, to get starting date of last week of investment. Sum sums the numbers returned by filter, and returns a number, which, in this example, is total investments in a week. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.